All right, guys. Today is January the 26th, 2021. Today is my 50th birthday. Um, <laughs> and I wanted to capture some events that have happened today and over the ca last couple of months. <clears throat> at the same time, that was, I didn't know at the time what the purpose was, but today it's been revealed to me um, what the purpose was. <coughs> so, um, couldn't be a better birthday present than what happened today, and it's just so incredible that I've got to capture this and share this moment um, with you guys. So here's what happened. Um, I'm subscribed to a couple of different people <coughs> and uh, on YouTube and one of the ones that I was subscribed to that I'm not uh, subscribe to any longer had 907 followers or subscribers um, on their YouTube channel and was the only one that was not about God okay um, anyway I saw this um, the number of subscribers on that channel at 9.05 this morning. And I just knew that God was telling me something about those two numbers, 9.05 and 9.07. I'd already seen 9.07 earlier this morning, but I didn't capture it because I hadn't seen it um, before. I felt led to... Uh, um, look that scripture up. So I started in Matthew, looked up Matthew, <coughs> got to Mark, um, and uh, I believe Mark 9, 7 says, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Uh, and then Luke Chapter five, uh, chapter nine, verse five, says that um, uh, that the people in the in the towns are, that where Jesus was going to didn't believe, and that he left those towns to allow them to follow the faith that they had. In other words, he wasn't going to waste his time any longer with them. Um, I believe how that I, I believe that's how it goes. And this is so new to me I can't remember all of it or exactly how it goes. Hopefully I'm getting that correct. Anyway, verse 9 of Luke is talking about King Herod and that um, he didn't understand. He was confused about um, who Jesus was and, and the followers that he had and, and, and different things like that, I believe. And I found that very interesting uh, that Verse 7 of chapter 9 of Luke says that Herod was confused. Well, you know, if you, if you read the Gospels, Herod is the one that <coughs> um, put out the decree that all of the firstborn um, in all of the, the land that he ruled um, were to be killed and 
after all of the uh, after all of those children, um, and, and it's males that it was referring to. After all of those children were killed, Joseph and Mary were, or Joseph was told by an angel to get out of Bethlehem when he did, and then shortly thereafter, uh, uh, Herod's people came and uh, killed all the firstborn. So all of everything that Herod did <coughs> was for nothing. Jesus escaped with his mom and dad, Joseph and Mary. And then I get to Romans. And if you watch the video that I did yesterday um, on the 25th, uh, I talk about because of all of this virus stuff, the people, some people have left church and because of their weak faith, they are following things that are not what Jesus taught. And I get to Romans chapter 9 and I started in verse 5 and I go all the way through the end of the chapter, which is verse 33. Um, and uh, the last verse on 33 <coughs> says that I will be a stump, or the, the scriptures say that uh, there will be a stone or a rock that uh, causes people to stumble. And that, you know, after um, sitting down at lunch and reading my Bible, are, are reading this these, these verses over on my app on my phone I get my Bible because I'm going I know that verse in the Old Testament and so anytime that you see uh, the word scripture it, as the as the scriptures are written or or something along that nature it's talking about something that was written as prophecy in the Old Testament well, <coughs> I remember where it is, and it happened to be uh, on page 780, okay, and uh, I had uh, a good portion of that page marked uh, back on... Uh, because God revealed that particular number to me, 780, um, back on August the 28th of 2020. And I had a put asterisks for, uh, on one particular verse. This is Isaiah chapter 8, and I believe it's verse somewhere around 15 to 19, maybe 19 and 20 something like that and it says why do we not ask God for guidance why do we ask uh, the dead <clears throat> okay and I and I uh, <clears throat> had seen that back on August 28th of 2020 and then on uh, it was uh, October the 8th of 2020 um, get eight packages in the mail that um, the postage is seven dollars and eighty cents at the same time I get eight packages in the mail that have postage for a dollar and forty cents. Well, seven eighty is the page that I just described. <clears throat> page one forty talks of it's it's Leviticus chapter twenty three, the first few verses of chapter twenty three and the end of chapter twenty two. But the first few verses of chapter twenty three is talking about the feast of the trumpets 
um, I believe it is. Uh, and uh, my sister and brother-in-law were participating in that uh, that very day. And I had told them that we would not be participating previously because I didn't feel that was what God wanted us to, wanted us to do as a, as my for my family and uh i call her and say you're not gonna believe this i tell her what's on page set i tell her about the packages that have seven dollars eighty cents on the postage i tell her what's on page 780 i tell her that there's eight packages with a dollar and forty cent postage and what's on page 140 in my Bible and that we're coming to participate <clears throat> anyway um, we participate and then I tell my uh, then I tell sorry Somebody's trying to call me, and I'm trying to decline it. So then, I uh, after we had participated, I knew that God wasn't wanting me to participate in that any longer. <clears throat> so the next day, I believe it was, uh, I told my sister, I said, we won't be participating in that any longer. I told my sister that we won't be participating in that any longer. Um, so today, I uh, see that uh, verse that was in Romans chapter 9, verse 33, about this rock being a stumbling block. It happens to be on the page of 780 in my Bible. And uh, I believe it's chapter 8, verse 15 or 16, something like that. <coughs> so, I was telling my nephew about it, about how God revealed this to me. And... I said, it's hard to believe that what, what I'm saying and how it is all played out. <clears throat> and his words were that um, he thought I was kooky. <laughs> and I was just, I just kind of laughed and chuckled because God had shown me uh, sec Second Corinthians chapter Five verse 13 it says we may look like we're crazy um, but because of all of this because of all of this um, it's for God's glory and not mine so I'm talking to my wife Michelle about these events and how they kind of played out today on my birthday and uh, and so forth and uh, <laughs> I re recall talking to my sister about the fact that we would not be participating uh, in the Feast of the Trumpets uh, anymore because I knew that wasn't what God wanted us to do as a family so <laughs> i had that thought and i said to myself i should look up the the that day which was october the 8th 2020 to today when he revealed all of this stuff <coughs> in romans chapter 9 to me and then Remembering that uh, the the stone or the rock would be a stumbling block. That's in Isaiah chapter 8. Uh, that's on page 780. So I look up 
I start, uh, I go to date and time calendar dot com, I believe it is, and I put in the date of October the 8th to today, including today. And this is just, this is the, the most wonderful part of all of this. <clears throat> and the best present I could have asked for today on my 50th birthday. It is just absolutely astonishing and so forth. I knew October the 8th or 9th that <clears throat> there was a reason that I was supposed to be there at my sister's house that day, but it wasn't because of the Feast of the Trumpet, and I didn't know what it was until today. <laughs> the number of days between October the 8th and today is 111 days. That is Mark 111 that says, You are my beloved son, and I'm well pleased. Man, what a perfect <laughs> birthday present that God gives me on my 50th birthday that no material present could ever give anyone but the God in heaven gave me such a wonderful confirmation that I am his son and I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I've done everything that he's wanted me to do up until this point I believe on this very day he tells me that I'm his beloved son and I'm well pleased what better present could you ask for? If you wanted something other than that, <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. I just wanted to capture that. That's just so incredible. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry for the interruptions. Somebody was trying to call me a couple of times, so uh, hopefully that didn't mess it up too bad <clears throat> so that's all for now bye